Welcome back to the channel. This is the 1995 Toyota Hymatic. I sincerely hope that no one thinks this is an actual ambulance and is in need of help because uh, I'm pretty sure my CPR license or certificate or whatever it's called expired in sixth grade. So yeah, I'm useless. This is the 1995 Toyota Hymetic, and it's built on the Toyota Hiace platform. Now the Toyota Hiace is a light commercial vehicle built by Toyota, and it was available in a mirage of different variations, like minivan, panel van, pickup truck, and a few other variations were available. But in 1992, Toyota launched a special model to be used as an emergency vehicle called the Toyota Hymetic. And it's a high roof high ace model which shares the same power plant as the Lexus LS400, SC400, and GS400. Now the conversion was done in-house by Toyota's business unit of customizing and development. And it was never made available to the public. Only government entities could purchase it. Until now, that is. Now, they didn't build a whole lot of these things. In February 1998, Toyota revealed that the 1,000th Hymetic was produced. And between 1994 and 2000, only 1,200 units were produced. And brand new, these things costed a whopping $240,000. Now, Toyota began production of the Hiace in 1967. And they're still being produced to this day. Oh, boy. Almost just hit a flock of turkeys. You guys all right back there? Good. Maybe I should have chosen medic as a uh, as a career instead of YouTuber. Now this one is a 1995 model coming from the fourth generation of High Ace, but it's the first generation High Medic. If that makes sense. And this one was used as an ambulance in Japan. Here's an actual photo of this one being used back in its service days. Sorry, the picture looks like it was taken on a potato. Now, the Hiace was offered with a very wide array of engine options, but the Hymetic was equipped with the 1UZ FE engine, which is a 4 liter, 242 cubic inch aluminum block V8. And it produces around 256 horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. And it sounds really good, too. Especially when it hits the rev limiter. And thanks to that engine, this is one of the most powerful vans coming from the 90s. And the best part about it is it runs incredibly smooth. This is without a doubt one of the smoothest engines I've ever driven. At idle, besides a little tiny buzzing sound, you would have no idea that this thing's even on. It's definitely the best sounding ambulance that I've ever heard anyways. And let's see how fast that 4 liter V8 gets this thing going. Everyone hold on! Really not too shabby! Now that power is sent to all four wheels through this four-speed automatic transmission. That's right, this thing is all-wheel drive. And these Hiaces were available as four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, or two-wheel drive, depending what they were gonna be used for. Now what's really surprising me the most about this thing is just how smooth it is. You would have no idea that you're driving a full-blown freaking ambulance. It is super smooth and super comfortable. Really, honest to God, you'd have no idea that behind you is all of the equipment necessary to save a life or attempt to save a life. I'm not really sure. And this one still has the gurney in the back and the sink and the rest of the fancy medical supplies that I have no idea what it's called or what it does. And it still has that PA system. And just in case you were to need them, all the lights and the sirens are in proper working order.
Not that I tried them when I was on the road. No. No, I wouldn't do that. This thing is just begging to be converted into like an off-road camper. The back is tall enough that my lanky and awkward six foot five frame can stand straight up in this very well, maybe the only ambulance I ever get to drive. I will see you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.